everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 1 episode 7. If you want to watch our uncut season reactions, links to the Patreons down below. <laughs> Last episode, the monster of the week involved a trip to the zoo which resulted in hyena possession. For... It's so bizarre, it's so weird. <laughs> I know. For Xander and a group of bullies at the school which became known as the Pat. It was really weird how it started because it was like they just made eye contact with the hyenas and then they were suddenly possessed. It, um, it was so weird how it happened because yeah they had like yellow eyes and it, just just one look that was it like you know and yet there was the zookeeper who was trying his hardest he did like so many rituals to try and get possessed by the hyenas and it never worked out for him so why that you would want strange. that anyway it's so weird weird why people. what is the point <laughs> i don't know and while the, the storyline may have been a bit uh, out there and odds, it did result in some catastrophic things for some of the characters. Principal Flutie, aka Bob, got eaten by the pack, minus Xander. With that revelation at the end that Xander remembers everything that happened, that means that those students also remember eating their principal. And while they were I mean... bullies, I don't think even they could quite grasp that they actually did that. They were horrible people, so I'm hoping this will snap them out of being bullies, you know, like murder and <laughs> yeah. everything like that. They're like, you know what, let's just be nice to people from now on. Again, I don't expect to ever see them again, but... Um, no, that's the thing, you never see them again, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, people do say that, like, after season one, everything you know, starts making more sense because the show actually became a show, whereas this is yeah. like a, a replacement season or whatever. So I guess they they just didn't continue on with that because it probably wasn't meant to go anywhere. And it's crazy how it did become one of the biggest shows ever. Xander was really not himself. He obviously got obsessed with the hyena and turned into a bully. And he was mean to Willow. He said that he didn't want to look at her pasty face anymore in front of the group and they all started laughing and then he also tried to sexually assault Buffy oh god and so that's what makes me mad that he does remember he did all of that and he didn't apologise at the end um, he acted as if he had no memory of what happened and it was a poor move from Xander there I expected better he I mean I can't, we can't really blame him entirely for the actions of what he did when he was possessed by a freaking hyena. No. But you would have thought he'd come around and say, you know, I got some of my memory back, I'm so sorry for what I did, I was not myself. And that would have been it, you know, a bit of, you know, justice for Buffy and Willow there, because they had to go through a lot of, you know, emotional turmoil with Zack being such an arsehole. And, you know, Giles did put him in his place at the end there, didn't he? He was like, well, there's no evidence of memory loss, so you're chatting absolute shit. Yeah. And Willow and Buffy obviously wanted to shield him from his actions because they he asked if he did anything. And him asking them in the first place is so wrong, but it's like, if they don't mention it, I won't, one of those cases. Yeah. And they, they didn't tell him, obviously, because they didn't want him to feel bad about what he did, but... Anyway, uh, look, season one is season one. I am enjoying the season despite the lack of continuity when it comes to these things. I guess we've got to meet a new principal now. Principal Bob is dead and he died in such a gruesome way. I feel so sad for him. He literally died getting eaten alive. Like that is terrible. His little face when he got scratched. <laughs> I know! He was like, he was just closing in on himself in a ball. He was just like, I can't stand up for myself against these four lunatics. Like, mm. he just accepted his fate and sadly, uh, he was not long lived. Every generation, there is a chosen one. She alone will stand <laughs> against the vampires. People keep mentioning something that happens before the episode, and I don't know what they're on about. It must be that. Maybe, yeah. They're like, they tell you the rules of being a slayer in the opening thing, and I'm like, what? I deny it later. 
Why is he good? Let me do it, Master. Let me kill her for you. I will send the three. The three? The three? Is Angel one of- Okay, no. He's look like he's one of the three. No. Oh, it's these it's three. These? Oh, I thought it was those bald guys. No, it's- Oh, God, they look so ugly. These people are armoured up. So we're talking about a guy? Not exactly a guy. For us to have a conversation about a guy, there'd have to be a guy for us to have a conversation about. You lack a guy. I do. Uh, which is fine with me most Buffy, of the time. Buffy, in fairness, you do okay. turn down quite a lot of people, so it is your own sort of doing. He's not around much. It's true. Angel is also a man, though. And he is around. Let's not the think about the age gap. You know, it's like that was so nice. Zander <laughs> back to himself. Zander, not Zag. Zander, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what everyone's talking about. That outfit doesn't make you look like a hooker. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, he had the balls to say that. What a closing line to the combo. Yeah, it's early. We could, um... Dance. Rain check. Good night. Ooh, she's no fun. Oh my Whoa. god, that scared me. What is wrong with him? He is weird. This is like the second, third time he stalked her. I know. I don't know how I feel about him being with Buffy. He's a bit weird. We know nothing about him. It's late. I'm tired. And I don't want to play games. Show yourself. <laughs> it's one of the three. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Angel, nice. we could really use your help, mate. Okay. He kind of looks like Jason Momoa. <laughs> that is an insult to Jason, mate. She's oh god, she's outmatched here. He said that was one of his biggest weapons as well. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do to Buffy. Good dogs, don't. Oh, Angel's here. Is that my house? house? A vampire can't come in unless it's invited. I'll go get some bandages. Just take your jacket and your shirt off. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that, Buffy? What is that tattoo? Yeah, can't quite make that, that out. Really nice tattoo. I live nearby. It's just that walking. Yeah, I so find that hard to believe. Me. Yeah, right. Why would I do that? Because you always do. If you are hanging around, I'd like to know why. Maybe I like you. Maybe. Buffy's getting a flirt on in her own home. I know, and her mum's here about to crank her style. There's a lot of weird people outside at night. I just feel better with you safe and sound inside. You must be beat. <laughs> Don't see the man in the kitchen, please. Can a daughter just be concerned about her mother? And also oh. has a guy here. <laughs> oh, what do you do, Angel? He's a student. That yeah, looks, looks like that. First year looks exactly like that. that. With my history. It's a little late for tutoring. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Lord. I'll say goodnight and do the same. Oh, God, it's so awkward. I mean, Angel's the one that made his presence known. Yeah, why did he walk out? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, she lied. <laughs> so many jump scares in this. Two of us, one bed. <laughs> Is he actually it's just going to stay over? Um... Why don't you take the bed? You know, you're wounded. I'll take the floor. Keep your back turned while I change. Buffy, why are you changing in front of people? <laughs> what does your family think of your career choice? They're dead. Oh. The mystery just continues, doesn't it? Was it vampires? It was. I'm sorry. Was Do you wonderful. think maybe... You even look pretty when you go to sleep. He keeps avoiding the subject. I think he's a vampire. I think he has to be. I think when they attacked his parents, they got him, but he escaped, but they bit him or something. Do you snore? <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't sleep! It's been a long time since anybody's been in a position to let me know. Oh. Uh. <laughs> God! He spent the night in your room, in your bed? And those Not the copy, in my I think. bed, by my bed. That is so romantic. Did you, uh... <laughs> Willow. I mean, did he, uh... <laughs> Perfect gentleman. Willow is swooning right now. Dreamy. Your yeah. master very much. He, he, he wouldn't send the, the three for just anyone. We must step up our training with weapons. Yeah, Buffy, you should stay at my house and tell these Sam. Oh, oh yeah, and stay oh, yeah, in the bed that. rather than on the floor, eh? Sometimes. In the meantime, the three, having failed, will 
offer their own lives in penance. Oh, really? really? They died. Now our lives belong to you. They did fail, but also truly. We who walk at night share a common bond. I am weary, and their deaths will bring me little joy. Oh. Of course, sometimes a little is enough. Oh. oh, we're just going to kill them anyway. They made them out to be such a big one of his weapons, and I know. they just killed them. <laughs> like once, and that's it. One go, and then you're gone. Giles is wearing his pad again. <laughs> Yeah, but where's good. Buffy going to be out with one of those sticks? Okay, Buffy, you didn't hit any of the pad there. I think she wanted to make her point. Yeah. <laughs> I read a little and just thought about a lot of things. Buffy, I... My diary? You read my diary? <gasps> oh my god. You don't even know what I was writing about. Punk can mean a lot of things. Bad things. <laughs> and, and when scissor tries are penetrating, I meant to write... Bulging. Your father moved your diary when she came in to straighten up. I watched her from the closet. Buffy, shut up. I didn't read it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she has outed herself there. I really can't be around you because when I am. Hey, no big. Whatever. She never lets oh, him finish his sentences. So badly, I want to kiss you. Kiss me? She, she heard that. Oh, he's acknowledging that he's older. <laughs> How much <laughs> older? <laughs> You can't see her. He's in the hundreds, isn't he? Even in human form, how much older? <laughs> oh god. But he's gonna do it anyway! Well, Buffy wanted a man, she's got one. What? No. Let's hit with oh. oh my god! <gasps> okay. I was right! I'm not surprised, but that was a bit scary. Oh my god, he was so ugly in his vampire form. Can a vampire ever be a good person? Couldn't it happen? A vampire isn't a person at all. It, it may have the movements, the, the memories, even the personality of the person that it took over, but it, it, it's still a demon at the core. There is no halfway. I think the books don't show everything. Angels are vampires. You're a slayer. You do have a point. I think it's obvious what you have to do. <laughs> you have to slay him, of course! Do you want him out the window because he's a vampire or because he's a love interest for Buffy? You're in love with a vampire? What, are you out of your mind? What? Not vampire. How could you love an umpire? Everyone hates him. <laughs> Who's here? A friend. Hi. It's been a while. Oh, oh my bitch. god. Don't tell me they had a thing. And last time I saw you, it was in high school, girls. <laughs> Is she trying to seduce him with that outfit? You're living above ground, like one of them. You and your new friend are attacking us. You're not one of them. He's trying to be, isn't he? This is why I suspected him, because we only ever saw him at night. You can only suppress your real nature for so long. Oh God, she's you really creeping me out. I hope I'm around when it explodes. Tell her about the curse. Maybe she'll come around. The curse? And if she still doesn't trust you, you know where I'll be. Oh. Great, you're number two. How nice. He won't necessarily turn if Buffy rejects him, right? Don't let his ego be that fragile. Angelus, the one with the angelic face. I got that right. He did say so Angelus, am I right? <laughs> oh, good one there. 240 years or so. Huh. 240. Well, he said he was older. It's not the vampire years that bothers me, it's the human years. It's, yeah, I know what you mean. He comes to Earth, to America. Um, shuns other vampires and, and lives alone. Well, he is in the book then. No record of him. For, for the past 80 years. So he is a good vampire. Willow is his biggest defender. A hundred years or so before he came to our shorts. What was he like then? He was probably a monster. Like Different all. story. A vicious, yeah. violent animal. Stefan Salvatore is definitely based off Angel then. Oh, he really is, isn't he? Because Stefan had that weird phase with, um, with Doppelgang. I've got Catherine. And he was like munching on everyone. Angel kills her and comes back to the fold. Angel. Oh. He was the most vicious creature I ever met. Really? Oh, God. I miss him. I'm surprised I he hasn't thought to use Angel fold. sooner. To keep her from killing him. Angel wants no part in it. Sometimes I have this fantasy that Xander's just gonna grab me and kiss me right on the lips. Oh, <laughs> all right then. <laughs> Willow. Will Angel kissed you. I mean, before he turned into. How Why is she snooping around in a school? Unbelievable. You'll still get wrinkly and die. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Children. 
<laughs> what about the children? <laughs> what about the children? Oh god! What would happen if Buffy were to turn into a vampire? Would she still be a slayer? She's never done anything to hurt me. Okay, I need to stop thinking about this. Okay, let's give another half an hour. Oh, uh, we need to give him a chance. Screw the books. I know. It's not I all mean, gonna be in right, a. Is it? In a not, let's not kill him sense, not in a relationship sense. Yeah. I'd be freaking out if I was a. Oh, Don't open, open the, the door. door. Oh, oh God. She's everywhere today. Hello? Hi. Oh, I'm God, no! Oh, nice to meet you. Willow's the Civil War expert, but then I was supposed to help her with the War of Independence. My family kind of goes back to those days. Oh right, I'm sure it does. Oh god, this is so bad! Oh, I've just been invited in. Crap! Would you like something to eat? Yes. I would. No! No! Oh, that'll do it. Let her go. I just had a little. There's plenty more. Don't do this! Oh god! If he bites her, that's it. <gasps> no, he's on the fucking internet! Can you imagine walking in on that? Yeah. He's <laughs> definitely gonna think it's him. You're not welcome here. You come near us and I'll kill you. Your friend came over. I was gonna make a snack. My friend? Specify it was a female friend. We don't have a barbecue for it. Are you even the doctor? <laughs> Charles, oh, what the hell are you doing here? never no, met no, Giles. Mr. Giles. I invited him into my home. Even after I knew who he was, what he was, and I didn't do anything about it. Because I had feelings Can for you him. Can you rescind an I invitation? Oh, he knows you. He's, he's faced the three. I is think it? this is going to take more than a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> She's going to kill him. That's all you have to do. Accept it. Well, there's no going back, is there? He already accepted Don't it before, it seems. But how has he not killed this bitch? She's so what annoying. I want it finished. You're hurting me. That's good too. Oh god, she's psychotic. <laughs> the thrill. She's studying with Willow, she's studying with Darla, and I mean, she is trying. Darla? Darla, I, I don't believe I know. Um, a friend, the one who came over tonight. I must have frightened her half to death when I fainted. Oh! Someone should really check and make she sure She really right. has no, like, suspicion <laughs> about this remember. girl. Oh god, he's literally just gonna one oh, right attack her then. I thought there was gonna be an explanation! I don't think she's gonna do it. Don't go soft on me now. Would he rather die than go back to Why? the dark side? I invited you into my home and then you attacked my family. Why not? I killed mine. No. Killed their friends. Vampires killed his parents. He was the vampire. I gave him the benefit of the doubt! What changed? Fed on a girl about your age. The elders conjured oh, maybe. perfect punishment for me. They restored my soul. You become a vampire, the demon takes your body, but it doesn't get your soul. That's gone. No conscience, no remorse. Makes sense. That's probably why he doesn't kill and use his blood bags. I haven't fed on a living human being since that day. So you started with my mom? I didn't bite her. And why didn't you say something? I can walk like a man, but I'm not one. Do you know what the saddest thing in the world is? Bad hair on top of that outfit? To love someone who used to love you. Yeah, she she and him used to be a thing. There was a time when we Oh really? Oh she turned him. You had a chance to come home, to rule with me in the master's court for a thousand years, but you threw that away because of her. You don't think I came alone, do you? I know I didn't. Oh no, they died. Scarier. Yeah. Oh god, it's oh, got guns. fucking guns! What the hell? When did these ancient vampires get guns? Yeah, that's way too IRL of you. Buffy was an angel who attacked your mom and <laughs> Nice one, Willow. Restore her faith in men. Come on, Buffy. I will be really sad Take if one like day one man. of them dies because it's not the same without any of them. Yeah. Angel's the one that kills her, angel isn't it? Angel killed her, the biggest betrayal. Ooh, the one who made him. That's how he gains her trust. I just wanted to see like if you were song. okay, mother. We're both good. Look, this can't ever be anything. I know. I just gotta, I gotta uh, kiss anyway. I gotta walk away from this. One of us has to go here. 
me up. No, you hang up first. You hang up first. <laughs> it really feels like that. You just can't help each other. It's meant to be. The most problematic relationship there could ever be. Why is it painful because of the cross he gave her? Or the She's fact that, that she stinks of blood? Possibly, oh. I don't know. <laughs> oh! Oh! It is the cross! Did you see did that? You? No, I did, did not. Did you... Bitch, rewind. The cross Random. is burned into his skin. Really? I've got a screenshot of it right here. It's I'm burned his skin because... When she kissed him, her necklace was up against his chest. Let me turn my screen brightness up. Oh yeah, okay, now I see it. <laughs> God, oh. that looks horrific. Yeah, <laughs> ouch. I suddenly thought of it because I noticed she was wearing it in that scene and I remembered. I was like, oh yeah, he gave her that to protect her. So he was obviously on her side the whole time. And yeah. I do remember her using it in like episode two or something and it saved her when I think Luke was on top of her in that pit so yeah, yeah that does make sense that means it probably that's probably why he pulled away in the first kiss then yeah it's really interesting because now we've got a proper love interest here now who is a literal vampire and she's a slayer like this can never work but i can see why they've done it so i can confirm i said at the start i knew the names of both people in the love triangle and angel is one of the names um, is Zander the other one? No. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I kind of knew that anyway because yeah. she's never shown interest in him. So, I... well, I mean, there's a, maybe Zander and Buffy do date at some point, but if they do, I don't know about it. Um, however, oh this is not the side that our friend is on. This does feel. It does feel so. I know, like we bring it up a lot, but it does feel so much like Vampire Diaries, like the it love does. triangle that's gonna happen. Angel is literally like Stefan. And then it shows how much inspo they must have taken from this because Angel seems like the Stefan archetype, a vampire gone mm. good, who had, yeah. who was a very vicious vampire in the past, but turned it around. And yeah. uh, Stefan used to feed up animal blood, I think. Um, mm. He did, he did. He used to drink from blood bags that he stole from like the hospital or something. Yeah. And it did all right. It did almost give me like slight Twilight vibes as well when it when they were in bronze and Buffy had her crossbow and she was like, you know, in Twilight when she's like, I know who you are, like, and he's like, I'll oh, say it and everything. That iconically cringe scene. Um, but I, it kind of felt like that in bronze, like I when they were facing. I haven't watched Twilight off. since like 2010. I cannot tell you <laughs> what that scene is. I yeah, have no it's. Idea. I think it's. I think it's in the first. No, it can't be in the first movie. Probably the second or something. I don't know. Uh, or maybe it is the first. I, I, it's been a while. But um, yeah, it's. It felt quite similar to that. Um, but mm. I think Buffy came first out of everything, didn't it? Maybe Buffy is kind of like the. You know the inspiration behind a lot of these like vampire flicks and movies and stuff and i think as well that's why it's not a shock that angel is a vampire probably mm. for its time it was the biggest reveal in cinematic history but yeah because, <laughs> because we've watched so many of these things now that really wasn't surprising in fresh eyes we weren't born in the 90s but if we were this would have been like oh my god so good like whoa this is like the first this is amazing um but sadly no we didn't watch it when it first aired so it's kind of like brushed over us quite a lot but i can understand how shocking it can be if it was a you know back in the day i can imagine it being quite shocking it's quite cliche for nowadays but as i say because it was one of the first of its time i think it would have been very very big like if twitter was a thing back then i think it would have been popping off at that reveal um, but yeah. it's, it's interesting <laughs> how Buffy now has to navigate this because it's something that probably never crossed her mind before. And Giles as well was saying there's no record of a good vampire. But then in the Watcher's Diary, it did say that um, while Angel was Angelus or something, mm, um, yeah. he was um, very vicious and slaughtered a load of people. But for the past 80 years, he's lived in solitude. So 
it showed how he really has been doing this even before Buffy and Buffy's mum's life. <laughs> like he has been a good vampire, so to speak. Yeah. For a he's long, sort of long been, time. He's sort of been living in darkness, just sort of wandering around, hanging around teenager nightclubs <laughs> and just sort of making himself <sighs> scarce. But now he's met Buffy and all that changes. And I it, think yeah. falling in love with Buffy will probably make that easier for him to be good but at the same time we saw the temptation is still there we had um her mum bleeding out right in front of him and he did put his vampire face on multiple times and i assume that comes on when they're ready to feed unless yeah they can i just think do, do it whenever they want i think they can do it like whenever they want because their vampire faces are always like that in hellmouth like there's no blood there, but they have their faces on. Mm. I think it's when they're like aroused by killing and just <laughs> being a vampire. I don't know. It's sort of like, it's really weird because yeah, they always have their vampire faces on when they're in Hellmouth. But at the sight of blood, angels was flickering on and off or whatever. So yeah, I guess it just comes on when they like but also involuntarily at times so mm, yeah, yeah maybe i think um yeah. i also thought buffy's mom was really cute in this episode she seemed so happy when darla showed up and said that she was going to know. study with buffy um way happier than when it, she said that angel was there to study a lot more I know, believable yeah. from the girl um yeah. and then when in that scene with Giles, she said that she knows she's not doing very well in history and whether it's because she's not applying herself and Giles obviously has no idea, he doesn't care but no. she's, she really is worried about her daughter's education and when you think about it from her point of view, like she doesn't know about the vampire thing she just thinks her daughter's going down this rebellious street because she got kicked out of her old school and not really trying with her work so of course she is worried um, Yeah and oh poor woman she didn't remember at all that she got sucked by a vampire for a bit she just thought think... she stabbed herself with a fork <laughs> yes yeah it, it did it was interesting that scene because it clearly when you get blood taken from you you do have a bit of memory loss then so that is a thing in this universe so it would be good to know going forward in future if any of them get bit that their memory might be a bit spotty yeah, but yeah, true. she did remember Dahlia's name and presence, so you know it's not that much of a memory loss situation. Just yeah. the act of violence that happens. And she's a so, poor girl. Yeah. She must have been really scared when I fainted. What fainted I know, on she, top of a fork? She must be just really delusional. The mum, like <laughs> you would, you would put two and two together, right? Obviously, this new girl that you've never seen before has come into your house, and then you suddenly faint with yeah. two puncture wounds in your neck. Like, come on, girl. It mm. is obvious what's happened, but she's just not put it together. Yeah. I mean, it's it's plot, isn't it? <laughs> the mum can't yeah. find out just yet. Um, yeah. And to the Buffy and Angel shippers, I'm sure there's going to be people coming in here defending them. But yeah. um, I'm sure we'll get used to the age gap in time. <laughs> um, again, it's not the 100 years difference that bothers me. If he looked like a teenage boy, I'd probably root for it a bit more. But he looks yeah, like a man. It's one of those things where he does look a lot older than her. But I, I, could, I could accept it with time. I think yeah. they are quite cute. Um, like, yeah, he seems he's, nice. So. He, yeah, he seems nice. He's the mysterious guy, and she's, you know, unattainable because she's a slayer. So it's sort of that interesting dynamic we've seen quite a lot in movies and films, but this is sort of the first of its kind. Mm. And it, we love yeah, Damon see. and Elena, and Damon yeah. was even posing as a high school student. He was a man too. Mm. Yeah, it was like that, and I'm a big Damon and Elena shipper when I watched it, so. Yeah, I can I can definitely see the appeal and they are quite cute, so I'll give them that. I'm sure we'll get used to it in time, but for now, we just see her as a 16-year-old girl and this man has been stalking her. Yeah, it's, it's just <laughs> on so... the outside, it is so <laughs> problematic. Like, yeah. this guy's just 
around wherever she is, hanging out in an underage nightclub, Ooh. just like there to and it, <laughs> and staying the night and stuff, and just staying in her room all day while she was out. Like it is really weird. Yeah. But it was it was really nice to finally find out stuff about him. I thought it was really interesting yes. when he said how um well we found out that Dala was the one that turned him. Um mm. but also he killed a teenage girl and then I couldn't I didn't was it did he say that it was her her group that gave him his soul yeah. or a different yes. vampire? That he said this name of this like coven type thing with our I, I, it, it was kind of confusing to me. Um, he said Romy. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's like the name of it or something. And they gave him his soul back. Oh, they were gypsies. Gypsies, right, yeah. The elders conjured the perfect punishment for me. They restored my soul. Oh, okay, so they are the ones. I was oh. thinking, all the vampires yeah. eat teenagers all the time. Why is he the only one that got punished? But he just went the, for the he... wrong type of person. Yeah, he so that girl belonged to that sort of group of family and the ultimate punishment was making him feel really bad about who he is all the time. So it does kind of make sense, yeah. And uh, while it's probably he, been a struggle no. for him over the years, that may have just saved mm. his life. <laughs> yeah, like, it must feel terrible feeling bad for all the people you've killed and stuff, mm. so... That's why he does live in darkness and solitude, I suppose, because he is immortal unless someone else kills him. But also him having so... that will perhaps bring Giles and, well, I think Willow was already on side. Xander probably never will be because he lost Buffy. No. <laughs> but at least Giles, maybe Giles will be like, okay, you don't have to kill him because he has a soul. He has, he feels guilt and remorse. He has a conscience. Mm. So And he's not a danger to them, really. No. So but then, I think, yeah, yeah, he might be part of their group. They he, might use him and stuff. He That'd did be literally admit that he was there to kill Barbie. <laughs> in that yeah. Scene. But then it she was, was there to kill him too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's like roundabouts, isn't it? Like, you know, yeah. I'm there to kill you, you're there to kill me, but, you know, we're gonna kiss or whatever because we love each other. And I did like that final scene too. And the uh, the cross burned into his chest was really cool because it is it's almost like a religious imprint, isn't it? It just shows how he he is a good guy, and I think we can trust him. Yeah, um, he's he's willing to put his back out for Buffy, so I think we can we can trust him. What's yeah. the name of the person that turns a vampire? The person um, that did the original turning is called something. But I can't remember the name. The originals? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, is no, the I... name of a vampire that turns... I didn't think about it, honestly. A sire? Uh, so, so Darla yeah, is his sire. Yeah, like, they're sort of, like, indebted to that person. Like, mm. they're always tied to them. Yeah. Kind of why that she's always hanging around his place. Well, he did say it's been a long time. Like, what, hundreds of years or whatever, but... She's always sort of around. Um, I think that's so why she was so shocked when he killed her because while he had been saying no the whole episode yeah. that he doesn't want to do this, she she was like, "What? That he killed she her was, because he should have yeah. been uh, indebted to her." He would. She was so confident that she would that he would, you know, be good to her instead of Buffy and actually, you know, obey Dahlia's orders or whatever her name is. <laughs> her name is Dala. <laughs> close enough <laughs> <laughs> that's it for today guys thanks for watching our reaction to season one episode seven of buffy the vampire slayer if you want to watch our uncut reactions the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode eight bye, bye.